Give me an example of the voicemail that you leave when you're making a follow-up call. Um, so for example, this week, um, it just depends on the situation, but let's just say they already toured with us mm -hmm. um, and we have followed up with emails or several other phone calls uh, because we are not removing the person until they basically ask us to stop calling. Um, so we've been saying, you know, hi, this is Okay, I'm Matt. You're calling Matt. Ring, ring, ring. You've reached Matt. Your call is very important to me. Please leave a message or send a text how I can best respond. And that's exactly what I'll do. Beep. Okay. Hi, Matt. It's I hope everything's well with your apartment search. Um, if you want to follow up with us, give us a call. Uh, for your or eat. Uh, we would love to see where you're at with your apartment home search. Um, happy holidays. Have a good day. Okay. We got a lot of stuff in that follow-up message that we can remove. Okay. All right. Um, let me say I'm calling Wendy. Okay. Here's how the follow-up message should sound. Ring, ring, ring. You've reached Re you've reached Wendy. Your call is very important to me. Please leave a message or send a text. How I can best respond. That's exactly what I'll do. Isn't that a great message, I'm Wendy? I'm writing this down. I'm writing this down. So okay. No, it's so easy. This is okay. this is where we make a mistake with follow-up. We either don't leave a message, which I'm really proud of you for leaving a message because most property management professionals don't because they're like, it doesn't work. Nobody calls me back. Well, of course they don't call you back because we, when we do leave messages, we leave these long sales pitches, right? And, and a lot of fluff in there. And that makes us sound weak. It makes us sound desperate. And there's really no reason for the person to call us back when they hear things like the F word. I'm just following up, I'm just checking in, you know, happy holidays, hope your day's going great, hope your weekend was great, just wanted to follow up and see how the tour went. So, if you've set a next step with them, if you were NSO, you can use my two favorite words, as promised, right? Hey Matt, hey Wendy, it's Matt Easton here with uh, Meadows Apartments. As promised, I'm calling to see if it makes sense to sign the lease on that two bedroom. I'm curious to get your opinion. Can you call me here at the leasing office 303-803-7372? Not, hey Wendy, how's it going? Hey Wendy, I'm just following up. Hey Wendy, as promised, if you've set a next step. If you haven't set a next step, well, you can't use the words as promised, but your follow-up message should just say, I'm calling to see if it makes sense to blank. And then whatever it is, that you wanted them to do. Hey Wendy, Matt Easton here at Meadows Apartments calling to see if it makes sense to lease that two bedroom we looked at on Tuesday. Uh, curious to get your opinion. Can you call me here at the leasing office? 303-803-7372. That was, and I didn't have my timer on me, that was about nine seconds. 